Hello and welcome to the Don's Gaming Crypt. Uh, we are playing the demo to They Are Here, an alien abduction horror. Um, got a lot of great reviews on this demo. We're going to check it out and see how it is. Uh, let's go to first our settings uh, and get our sensitivity. Let's see where that would be. In, uh, uh, here we go. Mouse sensitivity. Bring that down just a little bit. I don't want to go all jerky. What's the prologue about? The prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happened 30 years before the events shown in the demo version. The main character is Private Michael Anderson, who serves at a military base near Greywood Farm. By chance, he becomes a witness of terrible, inexplicable events. Sounds interesting. Air Force Base, 1979. in some weird symbols. Interesting. <clears throat> I guess we play as Michael in the prologue. to drive. Okay, walk. I read you five by five, sir. Out. I have them, but I don't see them. This is Omega. We see you. We are monitoring.
I'm assuming this is the way I have to go. Hello, Mager. This is Michael Anderson. I report radiation detected. Counter indicator is average. Roger that. We're all quiet here. I was clear that they're coming out with some of these UFO games. Radiation pick it up more. Omega, what the hell is going on with your devices? Radiation levels are rising. Over. I think I get lost in these woods. Okay, if I could buy any object, I will. Still climbing up this mountain. Hear me over. Can anyone answer? Damn it. What is that noise?
They're around me. They're here. Holy shit. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's aliens. That wasn't even a demo. In the full game, you will learn how the events of the prologue are related to Greywood's farm and the story of Taylor Fox. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. It's already added to my wish list. Okay, so now let's do the demo. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Greywood's farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at break, breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. The strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception, drawing attention to oneself, or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Graveswood farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. Uh, that prologue was really cool. Let's see this. Alright, we uh, talk to farmer Peter Sherman. Graphics look awesome. Sherman's house. Oh, cornfields. Remember signs. Now, Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something had happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful. Sherman, or Peter Sherman. Why did I want to say Sherman Williams? I'm thinking about the paint factory. Mystery sky objects seen here in Arano, down to Earth. Okay, the old newspaper has a face about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. 
why I never knew about this. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Cornfield. It's possible that that's where I'm going to have to be going. Looks like the drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. Did it kill the dog? Sad. I've learned a lot about these things, the greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can, they can be described in the following way. Large head, disproportioned body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to hear a no, start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears. The and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or on a road a few kilometers from away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The alien established control over their minds and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions and to be exact, during palpation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Oh, there's more.
this has affected these skin. Okay. photos found my own diary today was the most exciting scarcity of my life I saw the aliens my parents think I'm lying but it's true I was fishing from the abandoned pier by up the river suddenly I was deafened by a roar coming from behind Turn him over very slow. A punch. I froze this. Yeah, that's a lot of eating. Very interesting, though. this right now.
appear when we do watch during this invasion. Oh my god. I don't want to be probed. Creepy experience, to say the least. Uh, definitely looking forward to this game. Um, well, if you liked the video, please please click like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This was one fun demo, very creepy. Check it out on Steam. Games coming soon, hopefully, very soon. Really great graphics, really great experience. They are here, an alien abduction horror. Thanks for joining the Don's Gaming Crypt. And yeah, this was a fun experience. <laughs>